This is a pressure cooker I got from Ace Hardware. It's the only thing I could find that would hold pressure. I got to get 40 pounds of pressure out of the system in order to get it to uh, take over the gasoline, the, the, the pressure of the gasoline. Take this off. And then my, my hydrogen cell is down inside there. Now watch this. Uh, see, I'm getting some corrosion there. I gotta, I gotta take care of that. I gotta figure that. I can't let this touch. Come on, where are you? Um, well, I'll put you back up here. All right, now I'll turn the key on. Now watch that water. You know, this is, this, that's all this is is water. You know. Watch this. You got the key on? Yep. <laughs> and what does the key do? That's hydrogen. The small bubbles are hydrogen, the big bubbles are, are, are oxygen. You take and put this in a balloon, it'll, I did it on one balloon, it sounded like three M80s going off all at once when I set, when I set a match to it. That's how explosive this stuff is. So it's kind of dangerous if people no, smoke right, right here. No, this is on demand. When I shut this back off, it goes back to water. Yeah, uh, mathematically speaking, one ounce of water, you can drive 25 miles. So a gallon, which that is, I should go 1,600 miles. So how did you do that? I've gathered information from the uh, internet, and plus I'm, uh, I own my own auto electric shop for 16 years. So I, uh, I designed these, uh, I've got four or five of these made up. This one here is my best one. This is coming off of this vehicle, and I'm going to put it on my 85 Ford, because it's a, it's a fuel-injected car. And the fuel injection demands 39 pounds of pressure. So far, I've seen 20 pounds out of this. If I can get it up to 40 pounds, then I'm, I'll be able to run my fuel system on, on the Ford with no gasoline whatsoever. So let me see if I understand this. You make the hydrogen. Yeah. And then you go to the carburetor. Right. Through pressure through that. Right. And how do you move the pistons? What pistons? Well, how does the engine run? The engine runs normally. On pistons. Right, but you see, gasoline comes into the carburetor, right. it's, it's vaporized, it, it gets into there and, and explodes and makes the pistons go. Right. This is more volatile than gasoline. It's 100% gas, where if you've got a gallon of gas, 75% of that gallon goes out in the heat and into your oil. 25% gets burned through the engine. This is 100% gas, so it gets 100% combustion efficiency when you put it into the uh, carburetor. And it explodes completely. And what you get out of the tailpipe is water. Hydrogen is not dangerous as long as it isn't under pressure. Right, right, right. You, you pressurize hydrogen and you got a bomb on your hands. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> well, that's the reason why I want this automatic system and everything else yeah. because the fuel system demands 40 pounds. I got to have that so it'll go through the fuel injectors. Can you put this on any car? Yep. This, this system go on put it on your lawn tractor. You take your forced air furnace in the house, yeah. take it off natural gas, put it on this. You never have to buy natural gas again. All you got to yeah. do is put water in the system. But your water comes from there. Yeah. And where does your hydrogen come from? The hydrogen comes from the cell that I have in here. You oh. can't see the cell right now because of the dirtiness of the water. Okay. That's the reason why I can take this apart because that has to be cleaned out periodically. Otherwise, it'll sludge up and just like a battery that will sulfate. Right. If it gets too much sludge in it, it shuts it down, you know. So I, I need to be able to clean that. But anyway, there's a cell down there, but you can't see it right now. I've got, got plates, stainless steel plates in there that are uh, specifically spaced apart that create the hydrogen. You know, it, that's what water is, H2O. Yeah. It's two types of hydrogen and oxygen. So how long... Uh, when you apply electrolysis to it, you break the water down and you get the gases. So how long do you think it'll be before you can put this in somebody's car and put all these gas stations out of business? I'm hoping next week. You'll be able to do this whole thing for probably around 300 bucks. Oh, well, you'll wow. get that back in a month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you up sure gas. Yeah. See, I've got a, what they call a pulp with modulator. That's just right here. And what that does, it controls your voltage and it controls the um, uh, frequency to the to the units. It causes the vibrations. And it's a pulse grip, so it pulses it. And I can control all of that. So basically, it's kind of dangerous, this thing right now. No. Yeah. So this is hydrogen on demand. It's not, it's not stored. Stored hydrogen is what's dangerous. That's the hydrogen bomb. There's a is stored hydrogen in a container. That's, that's what they use for a bomb. Well, what's the difference between stored and, and that? It's being used to the engine. 
It doesn't, it doesn't stay at this pace. Yeah. But I mean, if I get 100, I'd be happy. If I just stay out of a gas station, I'll be happy. If you'd be at 60 or 70, you'd be at 20 miles to the gallon, as long as I stay out of a gas station. If I do the system myself, if they want me to install it, you're looking probably around four to five hundred. Isn't there a risk, though, if they put that onto the gasoline engine that something might happen and ruin the gasoline engine? No. In fact, what will happen is gasoline, you take a gallon of gas, 25% of the gas is burned through the engine, the other 75% goes out the exhaust and into your oil, okay? When you hook this system up, this burns 100%, not 25%, it burns 100%, which in turn, there is nothing to go down into your oil or go out your tailpipes. What comes out of your tailpipes is water. See, so it won't hurt the engine. In fact, it makes the engine run run cooler. And since I've got this system hooked up, you ought to feel the power in this, this vehicle. I mean, it's uh, it was fast before. It's an LT1 Corvette. This system hooked up, I mean, the power is, is very noticeable. So basically, that's what makes the oil turn black, is the, oil, is the gasoline. It's gasoline. Yeah. That's why when you change your oil, you have to change it even though uh, Right. Just it's the ga gasoline that makes it turn black plus the heat that the gasoline produces. This doesn't produce the heat because it burns so clean and so so fast, it doesn't have time to, to burn the heat. So the engine will actually run cooler. There's a, a whole range of things that can be done with this uh, with this technology. Yeah, what, what, what's your background now to know all this stuff? Oh, I'm, uh, I got 50 years as a licensed master mechanic. I had 18 years with General Motors, uh, 12 years with Chrysler, and I had my own auto electric shop for 16 years. Do you have any degrees or anything like that? Or oh, I got a whole Like a from colleges or anything? No, not from colleges. Like from tech schools or this something? This is all from uh, street smarts.